Okay, we just uh, finished doing a mastermind with about 20 brokers, and we had the following question. Uh, your file is approved, okay? The only outstanding condition is appraisal. And your realtor is telling you that the value of the property is okay and they should remove subjects. Should you, as a mortgage advisor, mortgage agent, remove subjects on that file? The answer is no. Why? The realtor says, that the value of the property is going to be fine. What is the problem? So we're going to show you what about 20 brokers came up with um, in terms of issues that can happen with an appraisal if you if the lender has not signed off on that appraisal before removing subjects. Uh, of course, number one is that the value is not there yet, and right now we're in the moment that possibly that that might be an issue. But let's say that that is not an issue. The economic life of the property. If let's say the economic life of the property is less, let's say it's 25 years and you're looking for a 25 year amortization or longer, most likely the, the, the lender will decline the file because you need five years more in terms of economic life in order for that file to go through uh, on the appraisal. Uh, number uh, number two, uh, Google the property. Uh, there's, been, there's been situations where uh, there is perhaps, let's say a gas station close to that residential property and even though uh, we don't need uh, to do an environmental assessment on the property. The lender may decline that residential property because of the proximity to a contaminated site or potential contaminated site. So that will kill the deal. Uh, number three, let's say there is uh, the typical um, oil tank. If you have an oil tank on the property, uh, then you have to make sure that that is removed before completion. Uh, number four, um, there is not enough comparables. Some lenders need recent comparables. If the comparables are not uh, recent, you may run into problems and they may, may delay funding. Uh, number five, very typical in some markets, uh, the, the land value of the property is the percentage is too high versus the building. So let's say you have a property worth a million bucks and you have the land is worth 950,000 and even though the building is livable, it's in good condition, it's only $50,000 or 5% of the value of the property. That's deemed to be a land purchase, which means that they may not go through with financing. So be careful, mortgage agents, on, on those type of deals. Um, uh, another one, very typical, in some areas on the country here in Canada, you may have a flood area or a fire area. So you may, if, you, if you're able to get insurance or there is a uh, comment on the report that uh, that might be the case, that might also kill the deal. And also read the special notes of the appraiser. Uh, the appraiser is going to uh, write some special notes and, uh, and those notes may uh, be a concern to the lender. So in any case, make sure you have the appraisal signed off by the lender before you remove subjects. And some of the things that you need to do to prepare yourself is uh, we have uh, at Mortgages Lab, we have training on that. We basically, what we did is we uh, called our favorite appraiser and uh, we had a 30 minute video with that appraisal where we went through an appraisal and he explained us in detail um, what we need to look for on an appraisal. So all Mortgage Lab advisors are um, aware and trained on how to read appraisals. Anyways, uh, I hope this uh, helps you guys. Um, be safe. Um, Camilo Rodriguez at Mortgages Lab. All the best.